I hope you enjoyed our guest preacher this morning. So we turn at this time to prayer. So let us join together with all those around the world who are part of the body of Christ as we bring our prayers together. So let's pray. Draw your church together, O God, into one great company of disciples, together following our Lord Jesus Christ into every walk of life, together serving him in his mission in the world and together witnessing, witnessing to his love on every continent and island. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the wonderful world that you have created, for fresh air, pure water, and earth's bountiful resources, for the riot of birdsong, the buzz of the bee, the scents of garden, woodland and wild flowers, and the glorious colours of everything in this beautiful world. Help us to nurture your world with love, to care and to share, to use only what we need whilst respecting and appreciating all living things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful and lift up all who are brought low. We think especially at this time of those who are worried about their businesses, their jobs and their financial situations. We think of teachers, parents and students who are concerned about the next school year. May they all enjoy a restful time this summer. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. We thank you for all the people who give support to others less fortunate than themselves. We pray for the food banks here in Wath and elsewhere, and we pray for the staff and residents in the many refuges in South Yorkshire and beyond. May they find strength and hope for a better future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. In their loneliness be their consolation, in their anxiety be their hope, in their darkness be their light. Give resilience, skill and empathy to all who are caring for those who are ill and wisdom to those who are working for cures. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us join together in the words of the prayer that our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I hope that you have a fabulous week and are aware of the presence of God with you always. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. Goodbye.